Hey, thanks so much for watching. This is Tony, and you're watching Faith and Coffee Bean. Hey, y'all, uh, thanks so much for joining me on my home coffee budget, ultimate budget setup. <laughs> uh, I, I like finding things cheap. I like going on the hunt for things. I like searching for the golden idol here, <laughs> just like Indiana Jones. And, and y'all, that's what I feel like I've been on. I feel like I have been on the, the golden goose hunt. So, um, I just purchased my uh, Flare Neo Flex, and I'm really enjoying that. I made a video with uh, literally the first day, first try. Um, I, I put myself out there, y'all. So if you want to see some bad coffee making, go watch that video. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I am going to go ahead and shoot a video right now um, making some coffee with the bottomless porter filter. But the, the purpose of this video is I'm asking for your help. So I know that Flare makes a um, a tamper. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here on the screen. Um, but with this tamper, it, if you look at the website, it says it's for the Neo, and I believe that's for the original. And I, I, I'm kind of, I was a little weary of if this would actually work. There's a lot of people on the forums and stuff saying that it's too small for the Neo Flex, the new one. Um, I'm not sure, I, I didn't order it. I actually really regret that I didn't order it. Because worst case scenario, I could have just returned it. I have gone on the tamper crazy hunt. Now, I love espresso tools. Uh, I got my different baskets. You all see my setup here. You know, um, I, I am a, a geek. I'm always trying to find my little my little coffee tools and gadgets and what's its galore, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, cut my tampers and multiple stuff and all that goodies. But I have been on a hunt for finding a tamper for the Neoflex. So if you know a good tamper, let me know. Um, I went down the Reddit rabbit hole and someone recommended a, a tamper on Amazon. I love Amazon. Uh, if you're like me, you probably get way too many Amazon packages. And y'all, I'm talking about disappointment here. This is this is the problem, you know. You get all excited, you you read a form, and you're like, "Oh, this works," and then you wonder, did this person get something else sent to them? So this is this is the second one. There's another tamper that was sent to me, uh, but this is actually the second one. Let me show you all this tamper. Uh, this is on the description. It says a 38 millimeter. The porter filters for the Neo are 39.25. So I got this, I looked at it, I was like, yes, finally! Do, do, do! <laughs> like, I got the right tamper. This is the golden goose, Indy would be proud. And then this happened. Um, Yeah, that's way too big. I mean, it looks like it's about to fit. It looks like it's gonna be good. I don't know if it's kind of tampered on the top. I, I don't know the porter filter, just, I mean, it, come on, that just stinks. I mean, there's just no other way to say it. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, do it that way. I mean, come on now. That's the, we know this isn't going to work. Look at that. Look at that. That's just sad. There is someone right now in Etsy. They're actually based out of Florida where I'm at, and they are, they do have a, a, a plastic camper that they have custom built. <sighs> It's so hard for me. I don't think I'm going to order it. Uh, there is another one. I'll, I'll go ahead and put a picture of it right here. The, the Crema um, tamper. And this is actually the same manufacturer who uh, my 51 millimeter tamper, I got that from. This is actually from Crema. And it's $44. I spent $99 on my flare here. So do I really want to go ahead and spend almost half the price on a temper and a tamper and a distributor? I might. <laughs> I just might. Uh, I like finding things for a good deal, but also you, you sometimes you need tools that just fit. So I am in a big moral dilemma. Uh, there, this is like I mentioned, the second tamper. And, and look, guys, I mean this is uh, this is a fifty-eight mil. Actually, this is a 51 mil tamper. Look at that little baby tamper. It's like mama tamper and daddy tamper. 
Um, you know, I mean, goodness gracious. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments if you have any hints, uh, any tricks. There is one tamper that I got, and it was my first tamper. Someone had put in the comments in Amazon saying it was a uh, it was a tamper like this. And it was actually used for the new Nespresso pods, and they just happened to be the same millimeter. Uh, it said so that one I got was 41 millimeter, and they do have a 39 millimeter. There was someone on Reddit saying the 39 millimeter works perfect. So, but it's not available, y'all. It's not available. Ah, temper, you elude me. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, so I am definitely on the hunt. I might just give in and, and order the one from Flair, even though a lot of people say it's too small for this. I don't know. Um, but if you know, please share with me. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull another shot I'm going to get kind of reconfigure my little coffee corner here and I'm going to go ahead and pull a shot with my uh, bottomless porter filter and I'm going to use some good beans and I, I think I've been able to dial it in. So uh, go ahead, let me get the coffee corner set up the right way here. All right, so I got the coffee corner all set up. Today I'm going to be brewing uh, Peaks Coffee uh, Company. They are a roaster and a coffee shop from upstate New York and Syracuse. This is the Trailblazer blend. I am really digging this stuff. Uh, I can't believe what, what a cheap price I got this for. I picked it up at Home Goods for $7.99. Uh, it's got a lot date, which I'm assuming is close to the roast date here, which is June 21st of uh, this year. So I, I know it's a good fresh bag. I've already pulled some shots and gotten some great crema and good results. So I am stoked about that to try these beans out. Um, y'all, this is, I, I'm hoping I get this one. <laughs> I'm hoping I get this one. Time to measure out some beans though. Uh, actually, before I measure out beans, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to preheat this. Um, just because why not? I want to make sure I give myself the most options for success. Uh, pulling out my porter filter at the bottomless right there. Beauty. And I'm using the included stopper and I'm using my Casa Brews 4700 for the water. This has PID control, so I know this is a good temp. So I, I, I definitely know this is already, uh, you know, right where it needs to be. It, it's one of those um, heat block systems. So I know that um, it, it's just, going to be like water on demand. Perfect, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and let that get heated up here. Um, I'm going to go with about, uh, honestly, I, you know, someone would, told me one time about a really great trick. And I, I know this might sound goofy to some folks, but if you're trying to figure out how much coffee should go into your port filter, sometimes it's a good idea, as goofy as it sounds, to just fill the pour filter with the beans. You know, you're gonna basically get your beans and compact them down with, with, with the grind and it should give you enough room, um, you know, for what you actually need. So I, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna test that theory right now. <laughs> so I, I got my scale up here. I got my beans. Let's go ahead and see what how much this is. I think this is actually about 13 grams. Uh, 13.7. I'm going to go with that, y'all. I'm going to go with it because I, I've been kind of feeling that when I go above the 13 and go into 14 range, that's when it starts getting too much. Uh, the other day I made a pool and I really felt like it was it was just too much. I didn't give enough room up in the brew pad, you know. Look at those beans. Oh, smell delicious, really chocolatey uh, caramel notes. Oh, it smells so good. It's like a dessert. Okay, let's get these ground up here. I'm using my Time War C3 Pro, and 
I've been using this at a six, which is pretty much the lowest recommended by Time War before you start hurting uh, your, you know, your, your burrs. You don't want to do that. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to go pretty fine. I notice that with this, I can go pretty fine. Like I said, uh, guys and gals, thanks so much for watching. Uh, my name is Tony. You're watching Facebook Coffee Game. This is a new channel, so I do appreciate the subscribe and the love. Uh, the whole purpose of this channel is not to be some big YouTuber. I'm never going to be that. Uh, I, in the last video, I was saying, hey, comment, and someone's like, uh, for the algorithm. And that's, that's it's funny. I mean, that's kind of how YouTube works, and I appreciate the love there. But um, I, I have no um, aspiration to be Mr coffee youtuber this is more just about connecting with the community and me honestly I, I really like the help so i mean that sounds silly but also follow me on instagram if you want to shoot me a message a private message i am totally cool with that uh i'm on instagram faith and coffee bean so i mean it, it's really i've already met a lot of great people in the community um i have some folks who i've been watching their channels i'm gonna go ahead and try to update my channel list to kind of include some of those so, you know, just really cool people. You know, that, that's kind of the main thing. I just want to make sure that um, we're all connecting, you know, because that's what this is all about. Look at that. Nice and fast. <laughs> it's not a lot of beans. Okay. And today, I might go a little fancy pants. How does some fancy pants sound to y'all? Look at those beans. Beautiful. Uh, I think this might be a blind shaker kind of day. I mean... Why not, right? Let's do the fancy pants. We're going to do fancy pants. You got the included shot collar here. And we got the fancy pants 3M bomber. Blind shaker. Okay. Just making sure everything's perfect on there. Yeah, those grounds are just fine even the way they are all right let's see here give it a little shake I do find that there can be some retention up at the top so it's something that kind of you know, keep in mind a little bit here. So let's go ahead. Let's put my shaker right up there. Hopefully y'all can see that. Yeah, that's awesome. And then even go a little more fancy pants let's do some WDT and this is really just a really want the most success I can get I love this tool. I love how, it sounds crazy, how long the needles are. Especially working with really tall, shallow porter filters like the Casa Brews. Uh, excuse me, the I said the completely wrong one, the DeLonghi uh, ECP. So Leveling out the bed here. Okay. And of course, we're going to do some tamping with my. Ah, included tamper. <laughs> oh, man. Trying to make sure it's straight and even. Yeah, go for a second tamp here. Dang it, dang it. So when you do these things, it is very delicate. Okay. I think that's pretty.
pretty much about as even as good of a tan as I'm going to get it. What do you all think? I don't think that looks too bad. And guess what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to forget the puck screen in one of my live videos. I uh, forgot the puck screen. And it was, you know, almost made it Turkish. <laughs> so we can get the puck screen right on there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and empty the water. So we got the water. And of course, you always want to make sure you have your chamber and your portafilter ready to go, clean, um, you know, and fresh. I mean, that's the thing. I don't want water dripping on it until I'm actually I'm ready for the right temperature. So I'm ready to go. I have my uh, shower screen, everything compacted. I'm going to add the water and get ready to get this pulled here. Crossing my fingers that I've learned my lessons. <laughs> I, I can't have this like my last video. Oh my goodness, that was sad. Okay, let's get some water. Okay, very important, do not want to overfill the water. Okay. And I do find that one of the big things in my last video is I was just kind of dunking in the top. And I really, it's a good idea just to make sure you have everything lined up. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead. Um, I am gonna go ahead really quickly and try to put my shot mirror behind this, see if we could, and I've never done this before with, with my, <laughs> my shot mirror. So uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get this to work here. Yeah, oh. Okay, that kind of works. Here. Now you can't see the gauge when I do it like this, but I think this will help you all see what I'm seeing a little bit here. Okay. Building pressure. Right in the middle. So there's pressure against some of those first drops. Definitely putting some elbow grease in here. Pressure gauge is like right in the middle. I could have went finer. I mean, that's what this is telling me. I mean, I could have went the coarser.
It's a long shot. It's still coming. Looks good though. Looks really good. This is the thing about the Neo Flex. I mean, it's pretty flexible. <laughs> I think this is pretty much right where we're going to be at. I wish I had a scale that would fit underneath here. Uh, yeah, I think we've cut the best we can out of it. All right, so let me go ahead and give us a little stir and give it a little taste. Oh, yeah, nice, Grandma. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that, beautiful. Let's put a cup here just in case. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Way better than that first video. I hope you all could see that, way better. Uh, I could still see, that's cool. I like this little shot mirror setup. Oh, that's delicious. Oh man, that is delicious. Anybody who watches this channel knows I really like a longo or bigger, but man. Oh, that is good espresso. Look at how creamy that was. You get stuff crema stuck to the wall. Oh man, it smells delicious. Caramel, dark chocolates, uh, parks um, or peaks. I really love peaks coffee. Uh, their, their mottos are with you through the peaks and valleys. That goes a lot with art with my channel here. Oh, that was good. Mmm. Wow, I like it when something's good. I like it when something works out. <laughs> Definitely good. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I I think that idea of peaks and valleys, y'all. You know, uh, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven says that you're gonna go. You you pray to the Lord. The the Lord's gonna take you from where He has caused you to be carried away. Sometimes things happen in our lives that are just crazy. And, and I truly mean that. Uh, my, my wife's a cancer survivor. Uh, I have been through some crazy stuff I haven't even ever shared on this channel. Um, you know, I, I've talked to military service members, uh, officers. You Back when I was a pastor, I worked kind of as a chaplain. I was actually a chaplain after 9-11 for one of the big events, for multiple events, actually. So, I mean, I've talked to folks who have been through some hard stuff, y'all. And no matter where you're at in life, life is about peaks and valleys. It, it doesn't matter um, who you are. It's going to happen. And that's what I like about coffee. I know it sounds silly. I could find my, my little bit of peace and I can read my scripture and I could have my time where I make espresso like this and it just calms me down. And you got to find outlets and you got to find hobbies. And this is a great hobby to have. And I really appreciate you all coming with me kind of on my journey into coffee. I do appreciate when you guys leave comments because it lets me know somebody is watching, somebody cares, and somebody's willing to spend their time a day to say, hey, this is what's up. Hey, Tony, I'm going to give you some advice. I'm cool with advice. As long as it's positive, I'm cool with it, y'all. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. This is Faith in Coffee Bean, and y'all remember peaks and valleys. Just turn the Lord, and uh, we all go through it. So if you're going through a peak and valley, you're very normal. <laughs> All right. Have a great day now. Thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget, if you know where to find a good tamper for the Flare Neo Flex, let me know because I'm on the hunt. I need a good tamper. Please help me out. <laughs> Thanks for watching.